Okay, everyone, this is just a quick uh, overview to help you navigate a, a little bit of what you should be doing in the first week. So make sure you check out this Succeeding with Waymaker again. Uh, this assignment needs to be completed. Okay, where you agree or disagree, again, you can choose either. You do not do not have to participate um, in the research. And then just fill out your communications preference, how you would like me to communicate with you about how you're doing with these Waymaker assignments. Okay, your school email is perfectly fine. Just fill that out there, please. Uh, some reminders about how to uh, work through Waymaker. If you ever have problems with the quiz, if you get an error message or you, something like that, you are able to retake the quizzes. If you have a problem with that, send me a quick note. I can reset things. I can go back and look at, you know, but usually I can't recover something if it was lost due to a internet outage or something like that, but I can reset it so you can take the quiz again. So again, always just ask me a question, raise your hand here and ask it for the general class. If it's a private question, send me an email at that uh, Farina MM email address. Actually, it's right here as well. Okay, Farina MM at SUNY SCC.edu. So make your way through the class through unit one after you fill that out, after you do the um, icebreaker discussion. You'll start with the introduction. Again, that assignment is there again, so just make sure you do that. Here's the study plan. Here's another link to the icebreaker. And then here's the first quiz. All right, and then you will move back to unit one to the second chapter, theories. And again, you'll do the study plan. This is where the discussion is for this unit, developmental theories and you'll take the quiz again. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to get to the discussion boards. You can click here, you create a thread, and that's where you start typing, submit. You can save your draft uh, if you wanna work on something and then come back to it. You can also type something up in a Word document, and if you are having, you know, if you're planning on a long discussion, I kinda encourage you to do this and then you can cut and paste it into here um, so that we can read it. That way you can edit it, work on it, go back to it, not worry about it getting lost. Blackboard can auto log you off if you're um, idle for a period of time, if you're not actively working. So just keep that in mind when you're working on a quiz or a discussion, make sure you, you know, you're gonna stay active on the class while you're working on it or just save it as a you know in a word document and then cut it cut and paste it so you just link you know go to your word program that you like whether it's google docs or word or whatever um okay so again remember to keep this menu keep that out our discussion boards will also be here this is what you see this is the ask a question if you want to kind of raise your hand for the class Here's the icebreaker. As you can see, some people have already started posting, which is great. And here below that, you'll see uh, the current discussion for the um, unit that we're on. You will be able to look at your attendance through this Starfish link. I encourage you to do that. I do this. You'll, it'll give you um, a, a proper link to that. This is just because I'm in the student mode. Um, but I am going to be taking attendance and I do encourage you to log on two or three times a week at, at the least. If you occasionally miss that, if one week you're only on once, but you did all your work or you're only on twice, but you, you know, it, again, it's just a general guideline. If you're absent for more than a few classes in a row or more than a few times a week, I will start to get in touch with you. You may hear from um, some of the academic counselors um, particularly for an online class, it's really important that you're checking in regularly and making sure you're on track. Okay, so again, send me an email, raise your hand in the question, ask a question section uh, if you have any concerns, and I again look forward to hearing from you all.